my fortunes and tonight's families are first of all a family who like to think of every day as Christmas Day and they are the Vitellison family and they're playing a family who like to spend their time going halfway round the world the Lowe family and here's your host Les Dennis <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the show. Here we are with two families hoping to do battle with a chance of winning £5,000 and a choice of star prize. Either this top-of-the-range family estate... Yes, and it's one spacious estate equipped with a high-performance 16-valve engine. It's got airbags, ABS, remote central locking and lots more besides. And it all comes as standard on this great family car. Or a family holiday of a lifetime for themselves and their partners, courtesy of Air Mauritius. Where could we be sending the families tonight, Steve? This week, Les, is the Sugar Beach Resort, situated on the beautiful west coast with panoramic views as far as the eye can see. Sugar Beach Resort recreates the elegant lifestyle of an authentic Mauritian sugar plantation manor house. Situated on one of the island's most beautiful beaches, it's the perfect place to relax or enjoy a full range of water sports, which are all included in the prize for our family fortune hunters tonight. Jamie Paula. Hundred people surveyed in all our games. In this first game, we're looking for the top six answers. We asked a hundred people to name your partner's worst fault. Paula. Snoring. Snoring. It's the top answer. Well played. What do you want to do, Play or pass? Yeah. Yeah. Play. Rejoin your family, but no conferring. I was listening to you about the Christmas story so much, Paula. I forgot to ask where the family comes from. We're from Derby, Les. From Derby. Hiya, Barry. Hiya, Les. You've been in the army a long time. 27 years, Les. 27 years, yeah. yeah. And you've just left? I finished five years ago, Les. Right. Um, Why did you leave? He was starting to get... Well, I was starting to sound like all the old soldiers did when I was a young lad, Les, you know. It's not the army I joined. You buggers get it too easy. So I thought it was time to get out <laughs> quick. You are starting to get like a sergeant major, were you? I was a sergeant major. You were a sergeant major. <laughs> All right, and, and since you got out of the army, you haven't been able to settle down, have you? Well, no. I say got out, but since you left, it sounds like you escaped. <laughs> well, okay. Marilyn and I have been married 28 years now, Les, and in that time we've had 16 houses. 16 houses? Yeah. And we're moving again at the end of the month. <laughs> but as soon as you get into the house, she's going to put a Christmas tree up. Yeah. <laughs> it's the biggest problem, Les. The removals cost me more for the Christmas decorations than it does for the furniture. All right, Barry, what do you think? Shopping, Les. Shopping? She's a shopaholic, is she? <laughs> for Christmas ornaments, Les. Christmas <laughs> ornaments. <laughs> Shopping! No, we lose a life on it, so come on, Marilyn. Um, swearing, Les. Does he? Not really, it's very good. <laughs> it's very good. Swearing. Let's see if our hundred people said swearing. <laughs> Two lives gone. Good answer, but not there. The Lowe family might oh, steal. Hiya, Shelley. Hello. Now then, <laughs> tell us about the fact that you don't like to cook or do anything. You're not a very good... You, you say you're a housewife, but you don't like doing it. No. No, I'm, I'm spoiled because I've got a very good house husband. He does it all, does he? Oh, he cooks a lot better than I do. <laughs> I haven't better. got a clue. What happened when you made a bacon sandwich? <laughs> I had to phone my mum to find out if I had to turn the bacon over. <laughs> <laughs> you had to find out whether you turned bacon over but or it was, not? It was thin. I, I thought it would cook right through. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shelley, what do you think? Um, picking his toenails, Les. And he does the cooking in the house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> extra flavour, Les. A bit of extra flavour, is there, right? <laughs> Picking his toenails. <laughs> there you go, three lives have gone. The Lowe's already a chance to steal Bernadette. Leaving the toilet lid up. Leaving the toilet yeah. lid up, Leon. Toothpaste and the cap. Squeezing yeah. the toothpaste from the middle. Yeah. What's the cap? Yeah, what? leaving the cap off and squeezing leaving it the in the middle. In the middle, yeah. OK. Yeah. Avis? Hugging the TV. Hugging the TV, Mike? Picking their nose. Picking the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few answers there, Jane. You got one of your own. Exaggerating their love life. Exaggerating yeah, their love life. Yeah, making it. More making out that they're better at it than yes, they are. Exactly. Yes. Loving that is. Yes, I mean, yeah. yeah. It, you know. And is that what your partner does? No. No. Very good. It's very good. <laughs> so, it Brilliant. wasn't from experience then, that story? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Just from what I've been told by other people. All right. <laughs> What are you going to go with, Jane? Picking their nose. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for having a pick of your nose. <laughs> no, oh. so it means that the Vitellison get the money. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't find more than this. <laughs> I mean, didn't anybody speak from experience there? Let's have a look. Answer number six is... Smoking. Mm. Answer number five... 
They're moody. Answer number four. <laughs> Nagging. <laughs> Answer number three is... <laughs> untidiness. And the second most unpopular fault of a partner is... Not really nice. Which we didn't go for that and it got a... <laughs> Let's play on round two. <laughs> Mike and Barry. Bye bye. All right, top six answers. We asked a hundred people to name something that runs that isn't alive. Mike. Your nose. <laughs> You're obsessed you with your nose, aren't you? <laughs> isn't your nose alive then? True. <laughs> <laughs> Your nose. Yes, it's the second most popular answer. But Barry, there's a more popular one. Can you find that more popular one and take control? A car, Liz. A car. It is there, but nose is more popular. Mike, check with your family. Clay. Clay, rejoin. No conferring. So then, Avis, you have a hobby, an interesting hobby. What is it? Yeah, it's colour therapy. Colour therapy. All to do what colours can do for you. Yeah. Yeah. Is that kind of like, um, what do they call it, feng shui or feng shui? That's... Something similar. Right. It's very similar. But it's that. based on colours only. It's based on colour and what you can do to help you, you know, in meditation and all that. It's very right. good. We're looking for something that's not alive and that runs. But a truck. <laughs> OK, we've got um, a car. We're looking now for a truck. <laughs> no, we lose a life. OK, Liam, what do you think? Um, I'll say train. Train. <laughs> yes. Well played, you get a prize as well. Steve? Yes, you'll be able to dine out on this prize. You've won a romantic dinner for two in a top restaurant. Yeah. I didn't think that would be there, I mean, because I don't know <laughs> many trains that run. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Something that runs that isn't alive. Tap. The a tap. tap. <laughs> yes, water. <laughs> top answer. Well played, Bernadette. Two answers to find, two lives left, Jane. The wall from the... Jump a jumper? A jumper yes, runs. Yes. And isn't they, alive. Yes. If they, oh, I if see what you mean. The colour runs. The colour. Yes. If you pull a piece of. That sounds wall. all right. Yeah. We're looking for the colour in a jumper runs. <laughs> Two lives have gone. The patellisons might steal. Mike. Now then, you uh, teach <laughs> gymnastics, don't you? I do. Yes, for my part-time job, and it's yeah. a hobby as well. And apparently, the family were telling me that you're quite vain, Mike. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, is he? Is he? Very. Is he Jay? Very vain. <laughs> Terrible. Come on, Mike. Come on. Confession time. I was walking to meet my girlfriend one day, and um, I was looking good and everything. And then, um... <laughs> <laughs> but you did? Definitely, yeah. So how do you, how do you rate yourself tonight? You reckon you're looking good tonight? Gorgeous, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway... <laughs> so anyway <laughs> I stopped to look in the car uh, wind mirror just to see if, you know, I was still looking good. Yeah. And then, as I got up, I walked into a lamppost and I knocked myself out. <laughs> How did you look then? Well, oh, you know, stupid, of course, but yeah. I haven't done it since, you know. But you still look gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous definitely, just definitely. Look. What do you think? A um, motorbike. A motorbike? <laughs> no, so the Patellison's a chance to steal. Ryan? Headless chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They do once. Once the heads have been chopped off, they run around. <laughs> Shelley. A tap. A tap. Marilyn. A stream. A stream. Barry. A bus. A, a bus. bus. Paula. Makeup. Makeup. What are you going to go with? <laughs> We're actually going to go with paint, Les, which is really <laughs> sad. <laughs> Where did that one come from? That was supposed to be Shelley's answer. <laughs> it was supposed to be Shelley's answer. OK. <laughs> Something that runs that isn't alive is paint. <laughs> yes! <laughs> So number six is tights or stockings. They get ladders and they run. I love that headless chicken. Let's move on to question three. <laughs> Avis McMarilyn. Hi. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name something you associate with punk. Avis. The funny hairdo. Really the freaky hairdo. Freaky hairdo. Funny hairdo. Mohicans, all that stuff. Yeah, it's the top <laughs> answer. Check with your family. Play or pass? Yeah. Play, rejoin, no conferring. Leon. Um, Do you have rock. a little punk phase at any stage in your life? No, Probably not really, a bit young no. for that, aren't you, mate? Yeah. Yeah. You're a rapper, aren't you? 
Not really, not really, not really. You're yeah, right. seeing a bit of a rap on you, Leon. <laughs> a little touch. Give us a bit of rap then, eh? All right then. Mr. Les Dennis, can't you see? Somehow your shoulders hypnotise me. And I just love your car over there. I'm trying to win it so I can go clear. Hey! <laughs> Excellent, Leo. Very good. What do you think? Let me see. Rock. Rock. Yeah. OK, punk rock. <laughs> no, so we lose a life on it. Bernadette. Earrings everywhere. <laughs> Earrings everywhere. Earrings, OK. <laughs> Pins and body piercing, yes. Well played, Bernadette. You have a prize as well, Steve. And what a prize. You're going to have a whale of a time because you've won a weekend for two in the romantic capital of Europe. Bernadette, you're off to Paris. Off to Paris, yeah. Bernadette. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay, Jane, what do you think? Uh, makeup. Makeup. <laughs> two lives have gone so the Patellisons might steal. Mike. Their clothes. Their clothes. Yes. Okay. A, a particular style of dressing. Leather, leather clothes. Avis. Shoes. The shoes, the sort of platform shoes they wear. Platform shoes. <laughs> so, a chance for the Patellisons to steal. Ryan. Music. Music, Shelley. Torn trousers. Torn trousers, Marilyn. Sex pistols. The sex pistols, Barry. Bad attitude, Les. Bad attitude, but <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Mr. Sergeant Major coming out there. <laughs> Paula. Bad attitude, Les. Bad attitude. Is that what we're going to go with? Yeah, that's what we're going to go for, Les. Okay. Did you ever have anybody come in punky and then you chase them into the army regulations? Never, Les. No. <laughs> All right, we're looking for bad attitude. <laughs> no! Thank you, Zero. That was one thing about the punk era. They didn't really have a bad attitude. They were great. And the missing answers, number six. <laughs> Chains, number four. <laughs> the sex pistols. And answer number three, something you associate with punk, is... Hair colour. So the Patellisons have 114 and the Lowe's have 60. Right now we're going to have a break. Join us in a couple of minutes for double money and big money. Play double money. Okay, Leon, meet Shelley. Right, top five answers. We asked 100 people to name a cartoon mouse. Shelley. Mickey. Mickey Mouse. Top answer. What do you want to do? Play or pass? Play, rejoin, no conferring. Ryan, what do you think? His cousin. <laughs> You've got a name, Mickey. Jerry. Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I never knew they were related. <laughs> Mickey and Jerry. <laughs> it's there! <laughs> you thought at first you didn't have a clue on any occasion, yeah, didn't yeah. you? And you got a prize as well, Steve. Well done, Ryan. Now you can relax while okay. Shelley mows the lawn with this super lawnmower. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Paula. Mighty Mouse. Mighty Mouse. Yes, it's over number three. Is he still going? I do that. He's going when I was a kid, Mighty Mouse. Barry. Minnie you... Mouse. Minnie Mouse. Okay, we've got Mickey now we're looking for, not his cousin, but his <laughs> lady friend, Minnie Mouse. Yes, well played. <laughs> Prize again, Steve. Yes, you and Marilyn are off on a short break to a 16th century house hotel where the Pendle Witches once roamed and it's all set in the beautiful Ribble Valley. Oh. Hey, thank you very much, guys. Sounds lovely, that, isn't it? Marilyn, what do you think? Um, Matilda Mouse? <laughs> Matilda Mouse. <laughs> we lose uh, a life, Shelley. Shelley. Uh, Tom. Tom. <laughs> Tom. Mouse. <laughs> Tom Mouse, the cat that turned into <laughs> a, a mouse. That's if you get it, you're going through some big money. <laughs> and if it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. <laughs> oh. Suddenly a catchphrase. <laughs> We're looking for Tom. <coughs> no, so oh. two lives have gone. Ryan, gotta go carefully. Danger Mouse, lads. If Danger Mouse is there. You're playing big money. Danger Mouse! Yes, well played! Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played. Big money, well played! Hard 
of luck for those families. Did you know any of those answers? Danger yeah, Danger Mouse. Oh, it's just a shame because they just got it at the last minute there. Yeah. You're going back to Camberley with a dinner for two, a weekend in Paris and £60. Have you enjoyed the day? Yes, oh, we have. Very nice. Smashing Thank company, the Lowe family. OK, Paula, so. you're going for the car or the uh, Mauritius holiday? We're going for the car, Les. You're going for the car. Who's playing? Myself and my dad, Barry. All right, Paula and Barry, join me at the mic, please. <laughs> so, Paula, you're going to play first. Barry, go and put the headset on and we'll call you back when we're ready for you. Can I ask you five questions? You have 15 seconds to answer and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Yep. Good luck. A little closer to the mic. 15 seconds on the clock, please. Name something you always seem to forget to take on holiday. A swimming costume. Something a barman uses. A uh, beer glass. Something people hire at the beach. Uh, deck chair. Something that you see in the sky. Birds. A swimming stroke. Breaststroke. Well done, well answered. <laughs> That's it, hold on to me. Right, you've already got a lawnmower, a country house <laughs> break and £314. 200 points gets you the £5,000 and the top five answers get you the car. Something you always seem to forget to take on holiday. You said a swimming costume. Our survey said <coughs> nothing for swimming costume. Something a barman uses. You said a beer glass. Our survey said <coughs> that's better. Top answer. We're up and running. Something people hire at the beach. You said deck chair. Our survey said <coughs> top answer. 74. Something that you see in the sky, you said birds, our survey said only three people said birds. We got 77 and two top answers. Finally, a swimming stroke, you said breaststroke, our survey said 44, 121. Well played, we need 79. Rejoin the family, we'll clear the board and bring Barry back. Welcome back, Barry. Paula's done very well. She's got three top answers and 121. If you find 79 points, you get £5,000. And those missing top answers on top of that will get you the car. Right, I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You get 20 seconds, an extra five. And if you duplicate in any of the answers we've had, you'll hear the sound. And I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock, please? Good luck. <laughs> Name something you always seem to forget to take on holiday. Uh, passport. Something a barman uses? Optics. Something people hire at the beach? Uh, deck chairs. Something else? Um, lilos. Something that you see in the sky? Aeroplanes. A swimming stroke? Uh, breaststroke. Another? Uh, crawl. OK, Barry, let's see how he did. <laughs> OK. 79 we need, 121 we have. We need number one and number four to be top answers to keep us online for the car, OK? So if this doesn't flash, we just go on and see if you get the £5,000. First of all, I asked you to name something you always seem to forget to take on holiday. You said... Passport? Do you forget your passport? <laughs> not you often, Liz. Not often. You said passport. Our survey said... <laughs> five. Only five people said passport, so we can't get the car, mm. but we can go ahead and look for the £5,000. Hard luck there. The top answer was toothbrush and was, was mm. worth 29 OK? 29 false that's teeth. the top. Don't forget your toothbrush. You should have thought of Chris Evans. Don't false forget your toothbrush. False, li false, false teeth, Les. Next question, something a barman uses. We already had the top answer. You said... Optics. Our survey said... <laughs> five. Only five said optics. We've got, we need 69 now. Right, can we do it from our last three answers? Something people hire at the beach. You said... Lilo. Our survey said... 20. We need 49 from two answers. We can do it. It is still possible. The top answer there we'd have was deck chair. Something that you see in the sky. You said... Aeroplanes. What do you think? What else? Clouds? You said aeroplanes. Our survey said... 14, we need 35 from our last answer. The top answer there was stars <laughs> and was worth 32. People we must have surveyed must have yeah. been at night. <laughs> so we need 35 now from our last answer. A swimming stroke. You said crawl. We'd already had the top answer, breast. But if crawl is worth 35 or more, you have £5,000. You said crawl. Our survey said... Oh. oh, hard 
and luck. I'm sure it was the second top answer. Uh, backstroke, butterfly, whatever. We're going to double that. We added to the money that you've already got, which gives you a Patellus and family fortune of... £690 plus your prize is not bad, is it? No, it's not, no. That was hard luck. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye. Double bills of classic quiz dished up for tea every night this week. There's Blockbusters with Bob at 7 and Bullseye with Jim from 8. Next, action and adventure in the Crystal Maze.